welcome back to another video with Big Mac and B-Pop Ginger. And we are back with another Toys for a Pound video. Smaller box than the last one. And this is a little different because so far, pretty much everything on my channel is Toys R, uh, Toys R Us, Toys for a Pound related have been from the 50 pound challenges and whatnot. This one was a little different. So basically what we've got in here is just a selection of action figures and things that are alike that I spotted when I was determining what keyword I wanted to use for the last video. These were obviously items I'd hoped were going to be purchased in that challenge. They weren't, but I still wanted them. So I thought, hey ho, let's just flat out buy them. Some of these fantastic deal, I believe. There were some I couldn't quite gauge the size of. I couldn't tell if they were like little diddy ones or quite large, but they were well priced. So I had to have them. I believe I spent around 30 pounds or something with postage and whatnot on this. And there's about 14 items, I want to say. But the exact amount I've, I spent will be somewhere down here. And we will go through one by one. And uh, I will also look up the items. If they're all still listed on there, I will do what I did last time and show y'all how much each item individually cost if I can't remember on the spot. Well, that was a, well, then again, I think it's got a pull tab. That makes that quicker. Let's get rid of that. And since I ordered all this stuff specifically, I don't need to be looking away. I can actually look into the box. It's exciting. I don't have many unboxings where I'm actually able to do that. Slice and dice. So, open her up. Okay. So the first items were a bit smaller than I thought, but still awesome. So, I'm actually going to save, I'm just going to move a few little items out from here. Ooh, that got a little squished in transport. So I'm going to save these for last and I'll explain why after. So, first item, just a little diddy item, nice little taster. We have King Tut. Simply did this because I wanted to do up to £30 and I literally, I whacked this in just for the fun of it because they had a number of these little, uh, what are they called, pin mates available. I'm a big fan of the Batman TV show. I thought, I think it's awesome. It's, it's campy, it's cheesy. It's exactly what we want. And I wanted to mix it up. So that was cheap and cheerful for, I believe it was like a pound. Could be wrong, but I believe it was a pound. Figured, why not? Just something cheap and cheerful to chuck in to the order. Next up, we ordered the Merida. Now the reason I ordered this, if you saw the last video, then you'll know. If you didn't, spoiler alert, we got the only other one that they sell at Toys, R at Toys for a Pound, which was the Mr. Incredible remix. And I figured since they had two, it was only right to give them a friend. Because if you look on the back, you better see, it, to me it looks more like Mrs. Incredible. Or Elastigirl, but it is actually Mr. Incredible. So give you another good look at the old figure. These are, I'm pretty sure, were £2. And they actually look pretty well made. I mean, they're from Mattel. So that kind of explains for you. I can't read the writing on the bottom. It looks like it's in a language that uh, is to a country we don't want to be discussing right now. So I'm just going to not mention it. But it is there. Now, next up, we had this. There are a few different uh, Funko keychains available. And I have a few from these videos, but I'm a big fan of the Hulk. So I figured out of all the ones available, this one linked nicely to what I'm a fandom of, or have a fandom of, should I say. So I figured it was only right. Chuck you in. Uh, I believe this was a three pound keychain. Again, the image will have been included if available. And that's that one. Now the next two, I was very excited to see these. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five. Oh. I thought I ordered four. I'll have to double check the order. I'm, I must have ordered less than I thought. Anyhow, so let's get to the next things. I've never heard of these before, but they just looked awesome. They were like five pound each. And they are mini egg attack. So this is the first one from X-Men. It was Cyclops. I figured, why not? Just looks like a cool little figure. 
it looks like we have Magneto, Wolverine and Dark Phoenix also available. Why not? Pardon me. I think let's give her a little, let's have a little look, see what the figure looks like out of the box. So let's check. Very well packaged, I'll tell you that much. There we go. Oh, it's a box in box. It's a box in a box in a box. Dun, dun, dun. Right. So. Bubble wrap. So the end of the packaging, quite cheap. But yeah, it's basically these little figures. They look cooler on the box, but they still look pretty cool. So give you a little look, see at one of these eventually that turntable i bought i'll set up and be able to do smaller videos but it's actually pretty it looks fairly detailed some good coloring marvel paint looks good not bad like i said i think that was a fiver there was uh, another figure this was from a different set and it was the infinity war avengers infinity war and this one, um, Captain America, even comes with like a little holographic Beast Warrior sticker, or Beast Kingdom, sorry. So let's let's check him out the box and see if he's just as gorgeous. I suspect he will be, but we don't know for sure. Let's just slice and dice. Children, if you're watching, have your parents do this because it's very dangerous with the knife. His packaging uh, a little bit different. I wonder if I could squeeze him out without actually. There we go. Ooh, okay, he comes with accessories. So I'll, I'll leave him in the plastic for now. So that gives you a little look see at his face details. And then what we have here is uh, looks like a Wakandan shield. And he has space in his hands to add these little blade knife things for his defense. Jabbly, jabbly, let's just slot, if we can. Can we slot him back in? Close enough, I'll take care of that in a second. Right, and then the final items we got. These were a pound each. These were the main reason I wanted to do this. Now these are from uh, a series. Cool, let's see, which one? Do I... There's that many different ones. So we have two for a character called Kyle and four for a character named Sydney and they're all yep they're all different and obviously the specific one that is on screen at any given time will be shown right here so the first one these were all like I say a pound each for these little figures just for fun figured why not and they're exclusively from Skybound Entertainment and McFarlane toys created by the creator of The Walking Dead so this is our first one, Sydney. Second one, try and get an angle where you can see it better. So as you'll notice on the first one, he was bloody. Second one, not so bloody. And he's quite, he's a bit older in that one. He looks like a younger version of the character in this one. Again, bloodied. Give you a little look-see. Cool little limited edition shit now. See, McFarlane toys, they're pretty good uh, with a lot of the quality that uh, we've seen from them. Like I said, for a pound a piece, I can't complain of these. I just wanted I just wanted something different than just Funkos and whatnot. I wanted to mix it up a bit. So these last ones, we have different colours and they're awesome. So let's give you a first look at this one. So this is a character uh, character called Kyle Barnes. Again, I, I've read a couple of Outcasts a few years ago, so I'm not too familiar with it. I just thought it looked awesome. Uh, I'm trying to find an angle that's not too reflective. And this one, I like the look of this one. This, the box has got some cool colors on it, as y'all can see. Bit of a better angle, not a massively better angle, but a bit better. So that was nine items, I think. 11 items, how many did I buy you? Got six of them, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
So that's 11 items in that box. I thought I bought 14, but I could be wrong. I'll go back and I will check my order. And if anything has been missed, I'll pop a picture of the things that I had ordered here. If not, happy days. But that was everything I had for you on and that one, folks. Let me know down below what you think to the little figure and toy haul we got here. I like it all. I think it's gorgeous. And I'm going to have to figure out good use for them all. Beheadedly have. Until next time, folks, that was everything. So stay safe. Have a good day. And of course, live that pop fanatic life. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you.